how do you stay focused on, on priorities? How do you figure out what your priorities are and then stay grounded to them? It's more art than science sometimes. And sometimes, sometimes. it's just maybe going with your gut o on stuff? Of, often. Fortunately, we've got a visionary at the helm in mm -hmm. Blake Roney who, who's got a pretty uh, reliable gut. Who, who, he uh, can recognize things that are going to catch resonance within our distributor force and within the public at large, and that's very helpful. Truman Hunt is, uh, is, is very, very good at uh, sorting these things out. Joe Chang in our research and development department has had vast experience in, in trying to make those decisions and in refining those decisions about what's going to work and what's not. So, you know, Blake likes to say that there are no geniuses in this organization that, uh, that answer these questions, but there is here a collective genius that allows us to make the right decisions more often than not. What would you say to the to the larger workforce, Steve, about th them staying focused on their priorities? How, how might they do that? It is easy to be distracted by every wind that blows, uh, and so it, it's important that we do pick which horses we're going to ride and, uh, and ride them carefully. Um, I don't think that I have much advice for this group. We've, we're pretty experienced at getting on wrong horses and, you know, and having to go and refocus our, ourselves. But it is important that we periodically sit down and make sure that we're focused on the right thing and that we're not eliminating great ideas and great possibilities that are on the periphery that we really ought to be pursuing, while at the same time not letting uh, you know, the million distractions that are there keep us from being excellent at the few things that we choose to uh, to, to go ahead and deploy. And ultimately that does create success if somebody can stay focused, if they can keep the eye on the prize, if you will, and not let themselves get too terribly wavering off path. That's the science of it, isn't it? To, uh, to be focused on the things that matter and, and yet to be uh, broad enough in your vision that you can see change and new opportunity as it, uh, as it evolves. If you had, um, if you had some distributors in front of you right, right here, Steve, what would you want them to hear about holding on to priorities and, and staying, staying directed? If I had some distributors right here, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have much opportunity to say anything. They would have lots of advice for me, and I'd be uh, trying to listen and write as, uh, as, as quickly as I can. But distributors learn the same lesson that we're talking about, about focus. Mm -hmm that they can't ride all of the horses that, uh, that we put in the stable either, that they need to learn to be um, well-informed and excellent about, uh, about a few things and then talk in more generalities about others until over time they can gain broader competencies. Uh, distributors who come in and, and try to be all things to all people uh, often find frustration and, and, and lack of confidence because they haven't taken the time to build competency and you know, in, in each of the various offerings that are there. So I guess I would say to them, be patient and, and be good students. And don't, try to, uh, don't try to be an expert about too many things all at once.